like we're making a difference in, in people's lives by better understanding. new science, I think it can hopefully change the world. It's cures for different types of cancers. Understanding of the process of protein folding. That's chemistry. That's a chemical reaction. I can help show. I'm Vicki Grassian from the University of Iowa, and the Creative Advances in Environmental Science and Technology Award is for work that we've been doing for about the last 15 years, trying to understand the role of particulate matter in the atmosphere. Um, the atmosphere is a mixture of gases such as oxygen and nitrogen and carbon dioxide, but also it contains a lot of particulate matter. This is small particles in the atmosphere that you can't even see and we're focusing our attention on things that are described as mineral dust in the atmosphere. So if you think about a dust storm, we're interested in understanding the particles that get into the atmosphere from these dust storms and trying to understand how they impact the environment, how they impact human health, how they impact uh, even climate. It is clear that human activity can change and increase the amount of dust in the atmosphere through land use, a more arid environment, a drier climate. These particles, they undergo what we call long-range transport, that is they get miles and miles away from the source, and that will change the incoming solar radiation, that is the incoming uh, sunlight. And the reason being is that these particles can scatter uh, sunlight away from the Earth's surface back out into space. So we know about greenhouse gases and how they cause global warming um, and now we're trying to learn more about how particulate matter plays a role in uh, the Earth's climate. These small uh, dust particles can play another role in climate in that reactions on the surface of these dust particles can either destroy greenhouse gases or can form greenhouse gases. Very re recently in my laboratory, we determined a mechanism for the formation of nitrous oxide, a greenhouse gas that had not been previously uh, observed. In fact, it's thought that nitrous oxide might even be a more powerful greenhouse gas compared to carbon dioxide. So these kinds of studies are important, So again, so that we can better understand sources, sinks, of very important molecules, greenhouse gases, uh, such as nitrous oxide uh, in the atmosphere. Particles are known to play a role in uh, respiratory disease. So it's well known that um, if there's days in where you have high particulate matter in the atmosphere, that the number of emergency room visits, for example, goes way up. Particles can impact the pulmonary system, it can impact the cardiovascular system, and so it's really important to understand the nature of these particles and how they interact with uh, the human body. So we tried to work really hard to tie our laboratory studies where we have a lot of control and um, help understand what's being measured out in the field. So when people do field measurements, it's very complicated. They have no control over the variables. Sometimes it's difficult to say what exactly is going on. So in our laboratory studies, we're able to control the, the variables and hopefully we're able to help people better understand the field measurements so we can better understand the Earth's atmosphere. We're also trying to uh, help in terms of providing the data that is needed to put in atmospheric chemistry and climate models. It's important to have predictive models when we talk about the environment. And the reason being is that we want to be able to put in controls that make sense. And if we don't understand the fundamental processes and they're not in the models, we, we won't be able to predict whether decreasing emissions of this particular gas or of, of these types of particles will really help the situation in terms of less pollutants in the atmosphere, in terms of global climate change. Um, so we really need to have that fundamental data in the models so they can give us scenarios that will help us understand what's going to happen years out. So I think that we've made a lot of progress in the last 10 to 15 years on what we do know about particulate matter, but I also think we recognize that a lot more work needs to be done. My own work is focused on mineral dust, uh, but there are other particles related to uh, organics in the atmosphere. Uh, their composition is poorly understood. 
understood. Their role in the environment is poorly understood. We have a, a soot, um, and that also uh, needs to be better understood in terms of its impact on human health, on climate, all the things that we've been talking about. Understanding the environment is very important, and I think that the research that we're doing is playing a role in better understanding Atmos the atmosphere, and better understanding atmospheric chemistry, better understanding climate, better understanding the role of particulate matter in atmospheric chemistry and climate. I, I feel like we're making a difference in, in people's lives by better understanding uh, the environment. What's more important than that?